All right, so today I'm going to do a review on this solid AFR gauge from 14.7. It's a simple wideband digital readout gauge. Very simple, straight to the point, no needle sweep or nothing. Um, it works off of zero to five volts. And so here's my zero to five volt circuit. Here's my potentiometer off the Jim Stim X. This is the voltage readout. Um, this thing goes, will go to zero volts and it's high as 4.9. And so here's the data is zero volts, 10 AFRs, five volts, 20 AFRs. So here we go. Um, zero volts, 10 AFR. If I just barely move this Tenth of a volt will already get me some. Already start moving. So this would be like a good boost AFR. One volt out of your standalone. Okay, here we go. Let's try to get to stoichiometric. All right, so let's call stoichiometric 14.7. So there you go, 2.4 volts to get to stoich. And that's on my voltmeter. It might actually be 2.5 or 2.38, who knows? But my voltmeter is reading 2.4. I used to actually cruise around with air feels like this and it was only possible because the car didn't weigh nothing all right so i'm only able to go to 4.9 on my meter that gets me to 19.8 so i would say it's pretty consistently accurate no complaints so we have this warning light that is said to come on the red warning light if you have this white wire grounded so I have the white wire hooked up to the ground will be light will be lit under 10 AFRs or over 20 AFRs well it stays on because I'm not able to go under or over I can only go as high as 19.8 so I think what this means is if your wideband sensor, if there's a fault and it goes under 10, some controllers will go under 10 in the nines. And some controllers will also go over 20, up to like 21 AFR. So if you do get to that point out of your controller, the well, actually that light's not supposed to be on. Red warning light will be on under 10 or over 20, but it's on all the time. Great. Hmm, I've had this for more than a year, I think, or maybe I haven't. I'll have to see. All right. So there's your review.